You said 19 years you've been doing this. Yeah, so two, so 2004 uh, was when I started to teach financial education. Uh, 14 years is when I, like, straight entrepreneur. So that's when I wrote my first book in 2009. Mm. Let's talk about just this microwave in society. Yeah. Right? I don't know if you feel that. Oh, no, 100%. It's like people... They, I don't want to say promote, but yeah. they glorify mm-hmm. the overnight success. Yeah, you hear it in even people's speeches. Yeah, yeah man, this yeah, because I'm doing this. This why I was able to do this in uh, a year of starting or six yeah. months of starting. Yeah, it's like that's cool. Salute to everybody that's doing great yeah. from, for sure. Yeah, but I think we need to, I think we need to highlight the that really been doing it 100%. and keep doing it. Because for me personally, yeah, I think it's harder to continue to do something 100%. than to get something. Overnight and keep going because you get it overnight. It's like, oh yeah, I, I can do it. One hundred percent. When you go some years without yeah. getting it, and you keep going. You, you're a little insane. Yo, it's so crazy because I because I say this all the time. Like I remember when I first started, there was a lot of people killing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I look back now and I'm like, yo, these dudes is on Facebook putting memes up. What Drake say? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like we're gonna see who here ten years from yo, now. Yo, facts. You know what I'm saying? And and I think I think that's the true level of success. Because at the end of the day, um, if you are in the right time, in, in the right place at the right time, you're going to be successful, mm. right? Think about all of the uh, pandemic millionaires that happened, mm. right? What happens? Pandemic hit. Um, there is a lot of money in the in in, in you know in circulation because everybody's getting the PPP loans, everybody mm-hmm. getting stipends, people not paying student loans. So that literally the government created trillions of dollars that didn't exist prior to the pandemic, right? So now all you gotta do, people are panicking. You put on a camera, you start selling something. You you can sell clothes, you can sell courses, whatever. A lot of people started making a lot of money, right? But now three years later. That money gone. Facts. Right? People are hit. People are not in their house no more. People are outside. Mm. So now it's back to business. Now you got to do good business. Mm. You can't convince somebody to buy your $2,000 course. Right? And so now a lot of the people who made all this money, and here's the thing about making a lot of money. And I've, I've made a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money. I'm going to tell you this one thing. When you make a lot of money, you don't think it's ever going to stop. Mm. There is just this adrenaline that comes to you that you feel like the money's always going to be coming. And so what happens is when you think the money's not going to stop, you're not making good decisions, Mm. right? You're buying all these properties or you're buying all these luxury cars. You're doing all these things that are depreciating that, you know, is not going to necessarily, you know, you know, give you a lot of money. And then now when the money stops, now you have to either sell cars, you have to figure out how do you maintain this, this same lifestyle. Mm. And so, you know, I think that it is a dangerous thing uh, for us to to hold on to this microwave lifestyle because at the end of the day, it is not going to last. This is why we see athletes who, uh, you know, w- was making millions of dollars who are dead broke. We see lottery winners, right? The average lottery winner loses their money in five years. Right? Why? Because it's all about, it's like discipline, right? What people don't realize is that success is 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 attached to discipline. Mm. If you get it too fast, you haven't built discipline, mm. and so now you don't know what it takes to do to, to 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 day in day out what needs to happen, right? You know, a lot of the people who get go on fad diets, right? You like yo, I gotta lose weight, so you go on a fad diet, you lose 30, 40, 50 pounds, and then everybody like yo, you look good, but you didn't have the the discipline to lose it slowly. You gonna feel that? You gonna be right back to where you right was? Right back to next where week, you was. next week, right? Mm. And so it's the same thing with money. It's the same thing mm. with success. I will take slow grind, you know, way more than trying to do it faster. I mean, and honestly, I think that's how for me, um, I had exponential growth, right? I went from six fig I went from six figures to seven figures to eight figures. How? Because I already had the discipline that it took for me to make six figures. So I I'm gonna consistently make six figures. All right, bet. I got that discipline. I know what type of work it takes. So now when I hire a mentor, and I and and I get access to a room of multimillionaires, and they like, yo, just do this one thing. Now all I gotta do is add that one thing to my discipline that I have already. Now I, I quantum leap and I get to the next level, mm. right? And so that's why I always I never sleep on anybody who has the discipline, 
Right? That's why I know, like, like if you don't got multi millions right now, I know you're going to be a multi millionaire. Mm. Why? Oh, no, I'm getting. You know what I'm cool. saying? I, I, know I don't feel no way. Right? I know, I know, I know, <laughs> that, I know that for sure. You know why? Because I see your work ethic. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You always in the rooms. You always working. You always, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, so, like, so, like, you are always making sure that you, like, so you have the grind of a multi millionaire already. Mm. So, what happens? Now, once you start getting the structures, once you start staying in those rooms, once you get the right, right? So now it's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of, you know, do you have what it takes? It's just a matter of time. So I say that when you look at somebody, right, I could look at somebody right now who made a lot of money in, 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 a, in a short period of time and they walk in the room with a chip on their shoulder. I could tell that nah, they're going to fall off soon, mm. right? Because they don't have this work ethic. Oh, oh, now that you made this money, you, I see you on you, you at all events. You everywhere. So when are you working? When are mm. you planting the seed? When are you when are you realizing that what helped you make a million last year ain't gonna work this year? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when 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 are you, when are you when are you understanding what it's pivoting to? Anybody who's running the, the same plays that they did last year, they dead in the water. Mm. They dead in the water because because the, the environment changed, things have changed. So now you gotta you gotta pivot. You gotta figure yo, what's next. I right, bet this was next. I right, let me let, let me let me let me. Oh, this is where the economy is going. I right, so let me follow this. So there's 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 things that you have to be prepared for. But if you are if you don't have the discipline, if you're not getting the education, if you're not staying in the room, you're not gonna know these things and you're gonna fall from grace.